Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Awesome. All right, so we have a couple minutes and uh, it seems a couple of questions as well. So take it away. Okay, I won't share my screen unless needed. Um, looks like no, no, question no. one, advantages advantages of using Emacs input methods over something like xcompose. Well, there's a, there's a couple of things there. One is um, Emacs is cross-platform. So writing this input mode for Emacs means if I do end up using a non-free operating system, I can still use Emacs. I can still type in the way that I um, would like to. Um, I did look in, I don't, I actually don't know what xcompose is. Um, I tried looking for it on my system. I could not find it anywhere. Um, I did actually go and figure out how to write a X11 keyboard layout. So that's also available in the um, repository that has the Emacs package as well. Um, and it is handy to be able to have that um, so I can type in other applications besides Emacs. Um, but the main advantages for um, Emacs was it's, it was actually much easier to discover and much easier to manipulate and get feedback. You know, as I was developing it, like I could just evaluate the Quail package, try it out and see if it works. When I was trying to do the X11 inputs, I'd have to log out re and, and re-log in again to get things read in. It was, you know, it doesn't have that beautiful interactivity the way that Emacs does. So. For me, it was a good place to start, um, especially because I had never done anything like this before, like developing something that felt low level, you know, like a keyboard input. Um, I hope that answers your question. Question two, can you give us a demo of you typing in either Lakota in input method? Sure. Um, share my screen now. Of course, I always have to select which one. OK, so control backslash opens the input modes. Although when you've selected one, you have it already. So uh, yeah, wash day. That's, it is good, washte. So this is the suggested Lakota orthography or otherwise known as the standard Lakota orthography. Um, another benefit of doing it in Emacs is that I now get um, completion on Lakota words. So washtepi, washtewalake. So I'm, you know, it's a second language for me. And as I'm trying to learn it, it's actually quite useful to have company mode as a bonus. Um, for typing things. Um, I can show the other orthography. So to, to get another one, you do the universal input, control U, backslash, and I can try the white hat orthography. Oh yeah, lossage. What's the command for that? You are now unmuted. Yeah, okay. You are now muted. Thank you. You are now unmuted. You are now muted. Oops. Not quite as slick as that other demo we saw the other day. Okay, so control U, control backslash, I can select a different input method um, from the default. So if I select white hat, I can type wash day like that. So it's a different orthography here. Um, I won't go too deeply into that. It's hard to think and talk and type all at the same time. Um, I hope that's good. I w I'm happy to do more. Maybe I'll put up a video of, of demonstrating that sometime. Yeah, no, uh, why did I just, go ahead. Um, time about for like one more question. Okay. Um, on live, yeah, thank you. Um, well, real quick, did I write the company backend? No, that's just the automatic company completion based on other things I've typed. Why did I decide on the the input method? That's a good question. Um, I just did it based on my experience. Um, 
in the X input mode, you type it first. And honestly, I would love any input on what's more usual for these type of combining letters. Um, and really what I would like to do is kind of confer with other people from the tribe and talk to elders and see what feels right. What What is the best way to go about this? Um, I don't think that it should be an individual decision. In, in this case, it is because I created it for myself. Um, but now that I've released it to the world, I think there's more to think about. OK, I guess I have to go now so we can get to the next talk. Thank you for listening. Dok Shake. Thank you very much, Grant, for your awesome talk and for the questions and answers.